George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis face big changes if family move. Prince George and his siblings are set for a big change this summer if the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's reported plans to move to Windsor go ahead. As Prince William and Kate explore what life away from London would look like, their three children, aged eight, six and three, could see their day-to-day -day drastically transformed. Not only would it call for them to meet new friends but also make them the first royal kids in hundreds of years to attend prep schools outside the capital. A shy four-year-old George was first walked through the gates of Thomas's Battersea, in South London, by his father William in September 2017. The photos of him on his first day, smartly dressed in his new uniform, a navy v-neck pullover, matching Bermuda-style shorts, long red socks and black shoes, will forever be stuck in royal fans' memories. But this year, as George turns nine, might be the last at Thomas's for the young prince, as Kate and William are reportedly looking at four schools for him to attend starting in September. According to the Daily Mail, the Cambridges have been seen visiting pounds 25k a year Lambrook, near Ascot, multiple times, with William chatting to one pupil about Latin classes. Described as a pretty bucolic centre, the school has a golf course and a pig farm on site. As it caters for boys and girls, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis could also be enrolled in the future. Other school options for George include William's former prep school Lugrove, which Prince Harry also attended, and Kate's former school St Andrews, where the Duchess once said she spent the happiest years of my life. Another school William, 39, and Kate, 40, are said to have looked at his Papplewick in Ascot. Named UK Prep School of the Year by Tatler in 2019, it accommodates nearly 200 boys aged 6 to 13. If the family's plans to move to Windsor materialize, an obvious benefit will be the reduced distance to the Queen's newly permanent residence, Windsor Castle. Last month, it was announced the monarch, after two years living in Berkshire, has no plans to return to Buckingham Palace. Since leaving London to isolate with the Duke of Edinburgh at the start of the coronavirus pandemic, it is understood Her Majesty, 95, has come to enjoy living at what had previously only been her weekend home, as well as her residence for Easter and Royal Ascot week every June. For most of her 70-year-long reign, the monarch has described conducting business from Buckingham Palace as necessary for the smooth running of affairs. It was also seen as a symbolic matter. However, after successfully working from home at Windsor throughout COVID, it has been proven her engagements, which are at this point mainly virtual, can be carried out from Berkshire. Being in Windsor also means the Queen is close to the Duke of York, who lives at Royal Lodge on the Windsor Estate, and the Earl and Countess of Wessex, who are based nearby at Bagshot Park, Surrey. While it is known the Prince of Wales also visits the Queen regularly at the castle, the potential move of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge with George, Charlotte and Louis would allow for them all to spend more time with the beloved monarch, who is this year turning 96. The family of five currently split their time between Kensington Palace and Anmer Hall in Norfolk, and though William and Kate are said to have been checking out a number of royal mansions near the Queen, no details are known yet of where they might settle.